The Dow started selling off early today, and note what it did. It came right back to the T-line, and then closed back up above the 3 T-line, indicating that the uptrend is still in progress. What we don't want to see is a close below the T-line, but as the Japanese rice traders say, let the market tell you what the market is doing. And we can see there's been a number of times where they've pulled right back to the T-line and then traded up in this uptrend which is not unusual. As a matter of fact, it's actually uh, uh, pr provides a much more comforting force in this uptrend, knowing that there's profit taking occurring and there's no exuberance in this uptrend at this point. The NASDAQ was more worrisome. It actually had a sell signal, two dark crows, which meant the sellers were taking control and they would have taken control had they closed below the T-line today. However, as you can see, they brought the uh, NASDAQ back up above the T-line, which also indicates our very simple rule. As long as you see a candlestick buy signal and a close above the T-line, you're in an uptrend as long as they can't close it below the T-line. That same concept can be applied to any stock chart. When you see a candlestick buy signal, and a close above the T-line. You stay long until you see a candlestick sell signal and a close below the T-line. However, the same rule applies that if you see a candlestick buy signal and a close above the T-line, you can still be buying. Like our recommendation on TKMR, made very good profits, took profits, and then back in the trade uh, to the upside. That same scenario has occurred in NBWO. There's that slow curve, nice price move, sell signal, close out the position. Now we're buying back based upon the kicker signal and the close above the T line because this indicated there was strong buying with the uh, bulls able to keep it above the T line. And now we're back up above the T line with the prospect of having the trajectory of this move continue the same trajectory as it was before. This isn't rocket science. This is just being able to visually analyze what's going on in investor sentiment using the signals and the patterns that the Japanese rice traders have used effectively for over 400 years. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.